takes over. You got this, Novak? No. What was that? Gee, you'd be happy done. with yourself Best pulling stuff. off too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I've done that to Novak. Uh, Boom. Weather time. Let's get to uh, Sam Mack in Sydney. Yes, good morning, Nat. Uh, we are here at, at Cherrybrook Little Athletic Centre with a number of uh, up-and-coming superstars and a current superstar right now, Kelsey Lee Barber, is uh, very recently became world champion javelin thrower. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. That still sounds really nice to hear. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> I can say it again if you like. Yeah. <laughs> um, what does that mean, though, in terms of, obviously, Tokyo coming up next year is going to be amazing. You still need to qualify, or have you already qualified? I've actually already qualified for it, Great, so I've thrown the distance I need um, to be there. Now I've just pretty much got to stay fit and healthy um, and also see you next year. Do you have friends who just ask you to throw things like a far <laughs> distance for their own amusement at parties and things like that? Yes, they do. <laughs> what do they ask you to throw? <laughs> they pretty much just say like, oh, javelin, that's a throwing event. Just um, at the carnivals, like, aim for that peg, you'll hit it, right? <laughs> Win me that, that big teddy, <laughs> yeah. world champion. Show us if you're the real world champ. If I was to run, like sprint, do you think you could javelin and hit me if you wanted to? We're not going to. <laughs> yeah. um, I reckon I'd have a fair crack, actually. <laughs> 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 well, I've got so many questions that you won't hear in the Tokyo 2020 coverage but um, congratulations that's such an achievement we're excited to see you go to Tokyo and well done for coming to teach the kids here today one tip what would you say to these youngsters or kids watching on TV for learning to throw javelin well learning to throw well I'd say keep a hand up yeah. throw up you're throwing up so not not the other six throwing <laughs> <laughs> no aim high because um, yeah. that's where you want the javelin to fly to so Great work well we'll see you at Tokyo hopefully yeah, thank, thank you, you very so much, much. Uh, another chat in a moment let's do your weather Sunrise Weather, brought to you by Beacon Lighting. Get 30% off your second item when you mix and match anything from our range. On now. A trough in the east deepening, causing rain and thunderstorms to intensify across central and western Queensland. Moist onshore winds on the tropical Queensland coast generating showers today. A trough and deep front crossing southern WA bringing gusty winds and rain. Brisbane 27 and cloudy. Sydney smoky haze 27 as well. Canberra sunny and 32. Melbourne 35 and sunny. Hobart 30 and cloudy. Adelaide 36 and sunny. Perth 18 and showers. Darwin 32 and possible storms. Alicia Barnett, great to see you. Um, tell us what your team teaching the kids today. Today we're doing a little bit of high jump. This is our scissor mat, so this is where we start the kids off when they're really uh, learning, getting into it. It's a little bit easier for the little ones compared to, say, the big mats that would jump on it yeah. in the big comps. I always struggled with this one. It's a particularly yes. difficult one, I think, technique-wise. You have to, like, arch your back. What is yes. the, the tip for that? Uh, just making sure you actually jump off the ground and don't just throw yourself onto the bar. I think that's what people try and think. I always say, imagine you're going to do a backflip. You wouldn't want to backflip while your feet are on the ground. Oh, yeah, but that's a great point. That, yeah. And um, what about, uh, does this bring back memories for you being here today, seeing these kids learning? Yeah, definitely. I know that I wouldn't be uh, lucky enough to be in my position if I didn't have a very loving environment to actually nurture my love for athletics yeah. so I would have probably taken up another sport so this is um I really love giving back and just giving uh, kids the opportunity that I had well thank you for doing that we'll let you get back to it yeah, uh, it's a you. great morning to showcase the kids we're going to show their talents very soon Sally Pearson joining us as well in the next half an hour at Cherrybrook our little athletic center thank you very much Sam Matt here's Eddie with entertainment thank you very much Matt and Nat the streaming wars